Building or renovating a bathroom is no small feat with lots to consider when it comes to selecting fixtures, surface materials, cabinetry and electrical and plumbing needs. So it's crucial to plan well and consider how you and your family will use this space based on individual needs. As well as a simple renovations, we are also planning more extra bathrooms and in theories, whatever your reasons, installing a new bathroom is a serious undertaking and can be deceptively tricky. It requires quite an array of fittings and technical skills, often in a very compact space. For this reason, carefully planning from the start will prevent costly mistakes and change down the line. If you are planning a makeover, our bathroom ideas will provide more inspiration for thought. Start by thinking about who will be using this room, as this will have a big bearing on this scheme you finally choose. Is it to be an insured shower room, part 2, or a family bathroom that will require a bath and plenty of storage for twice and others accessories? A SPS style will require a long list of specification and fittings that could include a bath, separate shower, double ba basins, and heaps of storage, while a guest bathroom may just require a shower and other things. Next, ask yourself what sort of space you hope to achieve. Are you seeking a heaven to escape or to or you have or you want more of an invigorate and energized kind of person? This will affect the fixtures, fittings and color schemes you choose. Forget about how you currently use your bathroom and instead imagine how you would like to use it. Draw on your experience when you visit great space for example, and visualize how you would like your new scheme to function. Marrying up your space, a scale plan of your space is a good place to start. Marrying carefully as accurate dimensions are key and include features that are likely to affect the design, including windows, chimney, and doors. Cut out to scale shapes for everything, basin, bath, and shower enclosures, fire intents, and rearrange them until you find a layout that works best. Incorporate plenty of space between the element and consider how the room will work with more than one person in there at the same time. Ask the expert if you are thinking about how to plan a bathroom, it's best to seek out expert advice sooner rather than later. You have to visit local bathroom showrooms and websites. Bathroom designers are great sources of information and advice. They will be able to tell you about the latest materials and technology and will have a lot of solutions for compact or acquired space. They will also have plenty of experience in maximizing space while at the same time minimizing costly mistakes. For more for more information such as water pressure, soil stacks, other planning issues, a builder or plumber should be able to help you. Choose a layout. While it might seem daunting, getting your bathroom layout right from the start will make difference between an adequate design and one that tick all your boxes. But don't change a layout just for the sake of it. It works well for you. Keep it. It's a much cheaper option too as moving waste and water pipes can be expensive. Replacing fittings, flooring and tiles or repainting walls is a tricky way to add a refresh into your bathroom. If your layout is not quite right, think about the ways you might be able to make small but effective changes. Rehanging doors or fittings sliding ones is an excellent way to gain space for intents. Finally, bear in mind how your needs might change in the years to come. Just because you don't need a bath in your life right now, it might not always be the case. Your family might grow or indeed you might be selling in which case a bath will have broader appeal. Seek out inspiration. Choose your style early on as this will help narrow down the choice of fittings to consider. Your main options are period styles, classic or modern look. Hotels, particularly small boutiques ones, are a fabulous source of design inspiration. So you have to look their sites for loving them. Quite often they will feature a lot of packed into a compact space. So you will definitely pick out a few layout tips too. Bring together a visual checklist of what appeals to you, whether that 
and an Eastern Tide look or something more inspired, this will really help you to formulate your idea for the look. It's easier to show someone a mood board to express your vision. Talk to friends who have completed similar project about what they love about their new bathroom and to discover the pitfalls and problems that may have encountered along the way. Be realistic about your space. There's no point no point for his and her skins. A statement walk in shower or a double ended roll top of if they are won't fit. The truth of the matter is that is it is not going to be possible in the most bathroom. Apparently the average footprint is about the same as king size bed. Don't cram in fittings. This will only make the room feel smaller and research products that will help you make the most of your square in such as bedroom style showers or Japanese style square tubs. Remember ventilation is important. It's important in a bathroom with furniture as concentrations can damage wood and open window alone is not enough. You definitely don't want the bathroom to become damp especially an in placed so close to the bathroom which is why extraction needs to be considered. Make the room well ventilated as you definitely want steam flowing into the bedroom nor do you want your extractions to be too loud. Factor in storage. Storage is the key to a successful bathroom and no a minimal glass shelf won't be enough. You will never display well unless you have taken out shears in or nor do shampoo bottles standing on the floor of the shower. A substantial vanity with space for extra towel is a smart buy for your storage solution. Mirror cabinets will allow for you to store products as well as charge toothbrushes and electric razors. Niche storage in the wall will also ensure that you can store bottles when it in the shower. Consider your bathroom lighting as bathrooms are often placed next to the bedroom. Any bathroom lighting ideas should be considered carefully. You don't want bright lights flashing on in the middle of the night. It's not comfortable for the person taking a trip to the bathroom or for persons as sleep next door bedroom. I would suggest that you consider having different level of lighting than if you are Taking a late night trip to the bathroom, you can turn on the low level light without waking up others or yourself too much. Some of the lightning could be operated by a motion sensor, meaning there is no fumbling around for a light switch. Tiles are the easiest way to follow trends, surface make or break the bathroom. There's little that feel more dated than cruddy, worn out vinyl. One current trend is for graphic ceramic. You will achieve maximum impact with a floor to wall seamless features but you can also opt for a feature wall or floor. Think about your room proportions before choosing your tile. Very decorative designs can be too busy for a small space whereas they could be an ideal way to add interest and warmth to a large bathroom. Finalizing a budget. Deciding on a budget in advance means you can prioritize where to spend and where to save. And the good news is that it does not have to cost thousands to create a SPA feel. Invest in just one beautiful piece such as freestanding bath which you can pick for under 500 USD dollars and show it off against a more budget conscious backdrop. Bear in mind you can also need to allocate some money to practical elements. You might need a larger water tank if you are planning a rain fall shower or a water softener can be a smart idea to prevent the buildup of line scale. Spend it wide, wisely planning a bathrooms you have to spend and where to save. You must know about that. It's very important. Decide what level of service you need. This will largely be detected by your budget. Some bathroom companies offer a turnkey solution with everything from planning and installation to decorating included in the price. While this is not the cheapest option, it can repay in turn of the speed and ease of your project. Alternatively, you can design the space yourself by products. It should work out cheaper in the long run. Of course, nothing beats seeing product in the flesh 
so put time to visit plenty of showrooms don't be afraid to get in the bath and test it for comfort right there in the showroom and feel for furniture and tabs for build quality get quotes from at least three fitters and making sure you have been specific about every element of the project this will avoid added costs later organize your trades people get recommendation from friends and family about fitters always ask for references and make sure the person you choose is someone you trust and importantly like they they will be in your home for a week or so remember the best price might not always result in the best service if you are looking down walls moving or adding windows or putting a new check with your local building control office about whether you need uh, building regulation approval or not for your project buying your suit and fittings through your builder might allow you to take advantage of the trade discount some bigger bathroom suppliers offer significant saving to the trade as well as faster delivery and product support don't forget though that your fitters will definitely take a small cut for the time and effort of ordering for you regardless of whether you are buying from a high street store or high end brand factor in delivery time big name manufacturers might take 3 or 4 weeks to deliver while luxury brands can take around 8 weeks when placing your order don't forget the pre-frills such as waste traps for the bath and sinks and try to schedule delivery to coincide with when the builder is on site otherwise you could have items cluttering up the house or worse still a builder with nothing to fit give yourself plenty of regal room to avoid having contractor twiddling their thumbs on site double check the returns period before you place your order so you know how long you have to report anything that not right for you take the time to check the condition of your fixtures and fittings as soon as they are delivered to you. survive the work you might usually only make it to the local gym once a month but that will certainly change if you plan to rip out the only bathroom in the house you will find those changing rooms quickly take on a new appeal how long you will have to cope without a shower or bath depends on the scale of your work a job might only take a matter of days but if you are planning to move fittings or relocate plumbing account for significantly longer if you don't have a gym membership your only option might have to be a chase a friendly neighbor so start smiling when you pass in the street well in advance of any work believe us dry shampoo can only go so far you will also want to take steps to minimize the inevitable mess cover stairs and hallway floor with old dust sheets to protect them while products are being taken through the house ask for any cutting of tiles and plasterboard to be done outside to minimize dust and seal off doors to any bedrooms using masking tape to keep them pristine armed with all our advice it would be easier than ever to create the bathroom of your dreams thanks for watching the video to very end if you have not subscribed yet to my youtube channel then hit the subscribe button and press bell notification button as well so that whenever i post video on this channel you get the notification of my video it will be big sport for me i will meet you very soon in the next video